There's the uh, arc lighter. It looks uh, pretty cool. The build quality seems uh, good. It's not uh, cheapo feeling or anything like that. Uh, it's pretty nice. The only thing I don't like is when you go to open it. When you go to open it, sometimes your thumb hits the prongs and it scrapes and it kind of kind of hurts a little bit. Not too much, but you just got to... Yeah, it just kind of hits it and scratches your thumb. That's the only thing that I don't like, but uh, it's pretty good. There it is right there. Fires up every time. You don't have to hit it twice or nothing like that. The battery life seems to be good. Um, since it's it's a little bit more, I guess that's maybe 60-70% left. And uh, I charged it up fully, and it's been, I don't know, about four or five days so far. And it's still got uh, plenty of charge left. And uh, pretty. the cool thing about the arc lighters is that they're pretty wind resistant. I find that uh, they're uh, on par with like uh, torch lighters as far as wind resistance. But the thing with the torch lighters is sometimes you got to click it many times to get it going. Uh, definitely... A little bit better than a Zippo as far as uh, wind resistance, I guess. I don't know. But it's pretty cool. And then uh, this thing doesn't use any fluid. It doesn't use butane or any kind of fluid. You just charge it up with the USB-C. And uh, it's pretty good. It's rather nice. I like it. Uh, they just need to... I just need to find one where it doesn't... When you open it up, it doesn't smack your... You know, scratch your thumb. Uh, maybe if they, I don't know, maybe they designed it like this to be a little bit more convenient as opposed to being straight up. I think that's why they did that. But maybe this part, the cap needs to be bigger. I don't know. Just something just, or you got to do it real. Ow. Yeah. We're getting well. Yeah. <laughs> it just, that's the only thing I don't like. It's, it, you know, sometimes when you open it, it scrapes your thumb.